a big dog. A big dog, that's all. Super. Avantika, four, five, and six, four. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, good evening. Question number four. Adia, you are you are not audible. Avantika, you are not audible. Sir, can you hear me? Yes. A dash driver, a careful driver. A careful driver. It has to be an adjective, very good. Because driver is a noun. You have so carefully, very careful, care and all will not come. Just a careful driver. Super. Fine. Avantika. She ran dash. She ran quick. Not really. That's a colloquial thing. Ran quickly. Quickly, because it has to be an adverb. Quick is an adjective. You cannot go with an adjective here. It describes ran. So it has to be quickly. Everyone can. Can you guys write it down? She ran quickly. Americans use this word. She ran quick, but it's wrong. It's very colloquial. Academically, that's wrong. He drives too dash. He drives too fast. Yeah, here it is going to be just fast. Very good. 6B. Very super, super. 789 data. 789. What is the story dash? What is the story about D option, sir? Super. D option. What is the story about 8? Jaita, Jaita. Because seven, eight, nine is going to be you, eight. What happened? That's the end of the story. So what happened in the end of the story? No. If it is going to be in the end, just alone me. In the end, it is going to be in the end. Of the story is there. Of the story. Sir, uh, it's... Uh, at the end of the story. Yes. If it is going to be just what happened in the end, it is fine. But it is at a particular point in the story. Okay. If what happened at the end of the story, write it down. Write it down. Everyone write it down in the exam. It will be very close. It might be even harder. But here, yeah, what happened in the end is fine. What happened at the end of the story? Jaita, the last one. Why, why Jaita, the last one? Sir, can you tell the question number? Nine. The train leaves dash platform. Nine. The train leaves at platform. No. No. Jaita, help us. Jaina, I think it's a very somebody problem. Sai Gayatri, can you help us with the nine? Sir, so the train leaves from platform yeah. nine. Yeah, the train leaves from platform number nine. Yeah, write it down, guys. Write it down here. Kevin, 10, 11, and 12. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where did you buy your new jacket at supermarket? Super. Uh, how, how much did you pay? Can you repeat? How much did you pay? Thousand dollars. Very good. The last one. When did you... Oh, oh, oh. What did you buy? What did you buy? Yeah, it should be straightforward here. What did you buy? It should be straightforward. What did you buy is new jacket. 
right very easy so the last part of this is going to be a little bit challenging but we are warming up just to give you a good feel uh, we will try it back. chris 13 14 15 uh dash did you go this morning no when did this morning okay your dash did you buy with which Start. one did you buy with not option really, a not really 13 when did in in why did you buy with? No. With, with, with. Who with. did you buy with? Who did you buy with? Who did you? So, it should be whom, right? No, you, it need not be. It need not be. Subject of particular who, whom and all, most of the times it is interchangeable, especially in American English. But you cannot go with any other answer except for who here. When did you buy with? No. Why did you buy with? No. Which one did you buy with? No. The best possible answer could be who here. So, okay, 14. Dash, did you go this morning? When did you go this morning? Super. Next. Dash, did you go to buy some new clothes? Why did you go to buy some Wait, new clothes? That's all. That's all. Very nice. Why did you go? Super. Sai Sir Gayatri, 16, 17, 18. Yes, sir. 16. Where did you go to the shop? Option C, sir. Super. 17th one. Dash, did you go? Like, uh, how did you go? Super. 18th one. Dash, did, uh, do you want to go to Paris? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? That's all. Simple, very good. We'll quickly finish this off. 90, 20, 21, Jaina. Yes, sir. Dash, dash is she? Our cousin. Who is she? Our cousin. Super. Go with it. 20. Dash old was she? 60 years old. How old was she? 60 years old. Last one. Uh, dash, you like learning English. Do you like learning English? Very good. Super. Good job. We'll, we'll keep moving forward here. Uh, Kevin. Uh, not Kevin. It, is, it has to be Kevin. Kevin. Sure. 22, 23, 25. Yes, 22, sir. 23, 25. What does what you do? Can you repeat? 23. What, what did you do last? What did you do last night? Super. 23. Uh, how many languages do you want to speak? How many languages? Does you want to speak, sir? 23. Does you want to speak? How many languages? Yes. Does your mother speak? Is one person? It's That's one person. Good. Very good. 24. When did you go shopping last? Yeah, when did you go shopping last? Super, super. We are working okay with this. Can you move forward with the C part? It's called the word formation. All right. We are going to quickly do this. You have to read, write, listen, and speak. You have to write it down. I will go slow, but make sure you get the word right. You have to get one word which has to be right. Okay. Let's do this here. My energy level might be a little bit low today. Hope to manage it. Okay. 
terrible. I'm going to start with Zavatika. Avantika, read the first question. Many people often make a dash between London and New York. The Colbert is compared. People who have attended FCE, they know this concept to an extent. But if this is at the FCA 11, that is fine. Same thing only. Make, make a comparison between. Very good. Make yeah. After yeah, only the noun will come. So they are giving the verb. You have to convert that verb into a noun and just to do this. That's all. Super. Many people often make a comparison between London and New York. You guys have to note it down. At the end of the class, I will share this document also. You guys have to write the script, read it out because it is very important. Exam level, this is going to matter a lot. You have to remember. Many people often make a comparison between London and New York. Yeah, you are simply you are taking the poor word compare. Here it is a verb. You are converting that into a noun and you are putting it. Good job, Anandika. Good job. Right. Uh, number two, I will. Uh, everyone should switch on the video. Very important because uh, you will not be seen. Uh, Serpana, Kevin, Chris, Kevin. You guys have to do that. Very important. Then only will be asked question. Sir, my internet is having some problems. So if I switch on the internet, uh, long distance you are doing. Uh, you are excused, but not this. Everyone else should switch it on. Number two, Chris, careful, Chris. But two, little bit tough, but you go ahead to live with it, Chris. This book dash as a series of lecture about shipwrecks, which were given two decades ago. This book originates. Uh, uh, See, look at that, uh, uh, Chris, which were given two decades ago. You, you have to convert that into a past verb. You are almost there, but you got it in the present. You have to read it fully to make it past, right? Because to understand that. Chris, good attempt. Good attempt. Jaina. That's data. So, originally, Oh, originated, correct. Sir, hello. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, originated. 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 Write it down. Originated. So, no, good job there. Uh, so, the verb was missing. You have to convert that into a verb. Arjun is a noun. You have to convert that into a verb. That's good. Good job, Jaina. Jay, Once you practice more and more, you'll, you'll do it. You guys write out the answer alone. One, two, you put the number one. Number two, you write out the answer alone. I will share the worksheet so that you can uh, complete the script, read it out. Because some of the questions are tough. Focus on the answer and the question number. I will send you the, uh, the question. Jaina, number three, careful. Yes, sir. There are power states stations across Europe that use the dash rise and fall of the ocean tides. Uh -huh. um, there are power stations that use the There are power stations across Europe that use the um daily the daily rise and fall very, of the very good very good good job Good job there. Very good, Jaina. Daily, daily. You you write three daily. Rise, all of you as all of you have to you have to read that carefully. Rise and fall of the hours and tides. Sir, uh, should we just write the answers along? Yeah, the question number and the answer. Okay, sir. I'm going to give you the script and you have to complete the script and read it out as the audio form. Okay, okay that is the hope. Number number four, Kevin. If you weren't so dash off, when he would be happier to spend time with you. Critical. Super. If you are in so critical of Ben, varied. 
He would be happy to spend time with you. Very good. Chris, number five, careful. Don't you find it? Dash, how Jeremy always comes to work looking so untidy. Don't you find it intriguing how Jeremy, Jeremy super, always super, comes to work? Super, super, Do you know the meaning of intriguing? Sir, the next one also. In, intriguing is nothing but interesting, surprising. You see that? It's kind of like uh, strange. Do you find it strange how Jeremy always comes to work looking so untidy? Intriguing is very good. I-N-T-R-I-G-U-I-N-G. -I -I Superb answer. Size of a guy three. Six. Doctor say a glass of warm milk before bedtime can result in a more dash night sleep. More. It, it talks about the quality of night sleep. Night sleep is a calm bone noun. You have to you have to simply go with an adjective to fix it up. Sorry, that's not that hard. You can make it. Restful. Super restful. I, I, you got it. Good that you were able to take some time and do this. Very good. Super. Oh, so what's... Restful. 